the two world leaders were meeting for the first time since Trump's tell-all interview, in which he'd claimed May's Brexit plan would kill any deal she wanted to make with the US and insinuated Boris would make a better leader than her. Here, body language expert Judy James revealed this small gesture of defiance that May showed as the pair locked horns. Read more Donald Trump's UK visit if the greeting and posing rituals on display during President Trump's arrival at Checkers today are anything of a template for the mood of the actual meeting itself. Both Mr. Trump and Theresa May could be in for some frosty and toe-curling negotiations. World leaders perform what's called an act of inconvenience during their greeting hosting rituals to display their respect for their visitors visually. Last night at Blenheim, Mrs. May waited outside in the breezy courtyard for many minutes to greet the Trumps when they finally emerged from their chopper. It was a social message of respect for a social event, and the buttering up was emphatic. Today, though, the meeting was more about business, and this time May made it clear she was not taking one step off her own doorstep to welcome the US president. As Trump's car rolled up her drive, May remained in situ and Trump was forced to walk up to greet her, rather than the other way round. Their handshake was firm, but, apart from a small power pet from May, it was frills free from a man who loves to define his relationships via his endless varieties of shakes, touches and smiles. Both leaders posed using a slewed smile that only went up one side of the face, suggesting mixed feelings, and when they sat together for the indoor shots the layers of permafrost thickened as Trump sat using his splayed legs and steepled fingers posed to suggest alpha power, then tapping his fingertips together to suggest impatience or boredom. His hand waved to May suggested he was keen to move on, but she again stamped a flicker of authority by using six containment hand gestures, miming a living movement to imply he should stay in his seat, 